Hey guys. No, my bad. You can count out loud. Hi everybody. Uh, I'm standing at the cutting room. We're just about to start recording. Maybe yet though, my first EP. I'm so excited. I've always turned to music and felt most at home at the piano bench. I have been a musician since uh, childhood, really. I've been singing since I could speak and writing songs since I was 15 years old. Music has always been um, a companion of mine and a vehicle to just process life. The way it can reach people, regardless of cultural and language barriers, to tell stories. In 2011, just a few days before I was about to sign a work contract to return to Tanzania, I got a phone call that my dad had been diagnosed with stage four cancer. About a year ago, I rediscovered a card that my dad had given to me on graduation day. I guess it was fate for you, NYU and NYC, where you really blossomed. Although I must say, I would have really liked to see you belting out some lyrics at some village cafe or off-Broadway stage. Maybe yet, though. Earlier this year, I stopped denying the fact that I must pursue my music. So on the fifth anniversary of my dad's passing, I decided to resume uh, performing at open mics. During a recent work trip to Marrakesh, I naturally found myself sitting at the hotel piano. There was still a small crowd hanging out right nearby, and so I had promised that I would play just one song. Um, about seven songs and multiple stories later, uh, once I had finished, the crowd looked at me staring and said, why are you not pursuing your music? One of the women in the crowd um, owns an art gallery in Ghana and said, you should come to Ghana, there's a street art festival. Um, release your music and perform. I was speechless. Maybe Yet Though is now recorded. It includes five tracks. It was an incredible experience. The five songs that I chose to be on Maybe Yet Though are incredibly important to me. And one of my favorites is Till Then, and it's a lullaby I wrote for my dad. So far, we've raised more than 50% of the campaign's goals, but we aren't finished yet. The remaining funds will go towards creating and packaging copies of Maybe Yet Though, as well as travel costs for my performance at Chali Bote. Any additional funds that are raised will go towards a New York release of Maybe Yet Though, so stay tuned for updates about that on my Indiegogo page. Thank you so much for your support thus far. Let us journey together. Won't you join me?